Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog, and Happy New Year. I hope that 2020 is gonna be absolutely amazing for you. I have a pretty good feeling it's gonna be incredible for us, because we have so much cool stuff going on, but as always, I'm gonna look back on 2019, because it was a unbelievable year, and then we kinda of started the year with the last eggs of the year hatching. You'll never guess what's going on. Look at this, some more mangroves are hatching. Little baby mangrove snakes. There's one little baby out, and we still have five eggs that haven't even pipped yet. Oh my gosh, this is the last clutch of eggs for the year. It was super awesome to add Ben and Jerry to the collection. And in 2019, both of these monkeys ate for us, which was pretty darn awesome. Something that never gets old, and that's of course feeding my two-headed snake, Ben and Jerry. There it goes. Certainly one thing stayed consistent in 2019, and that's uh, Lucy still being a grumpy mama. You all right, sweetheart? Whoa, come on! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So cute that we just got our little baby gators in again from Gatorland, and ironically enough, it was this time last year that we got these huge monkeys that are behind me right now. Look at how cute. There you go, buddy. There you go. There he is, he just swims right over there. We went on one of our dream vacations this year to Italy, right? Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess it was this year. It feels a lot longer ago. Yeah. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Welcome to Rome. And that's right. This is the view from our balcony, the Pantheon right there. I mean, how awesome is that? I always hear about Michelangelo's statue of David. Well, guess what? It is right there. How crazy is that? That's it. That concludes our first gondola ride. Right. What'd you think? So exciting. <laughs> From a guy that used to be afraid of tarantulas, guess what? We build a tarantula wall. This rack is about to look a lot different. Got to play with some spitting cobras. You guys might realize that I'm wearing some glasses here because this guy is actually a little bit of a spitting cobra. This is a rankles cobra right here. Unbelievable animal. Fed some huge tarantulas. Woohoo! Dan, you almost got it. God. <laughs> <laughs> I was repositioning the GoPro oh and that thing just spun around on me like you can't believe. Of course, you guys know that I love my girl Bella and guess what? She is now on my leg forever. I got a tattoo of my girl Bella. My 20 foot snake Lucy got pregnant again. Well, I tell you what guys, uh, that is strange. She literally doesn't want to eat. But I tell you what that probably means. See how kind of expanded she looks right now? I have a feeling that she's starting to grow follicles. We actually had a birthday party for a bearded dragon named Rango. We are actually having a bearded dragon birthday party. Happy birthday to you. Oh my God, guys, this is so awesome. <laughs> I just love it. I was down in Atlanta and I got to play with an anaconda and, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't as tame as Verde. You're gonna be mad, aren't you? This, of course, is a beautiful green anaconda. She's a little feisty, I'm not gonna lie to you. She already took a couple pops at me trying to get out. What? There she is, whoa! And speaking of Verde, this picky little monkey finally ate. And there you have it, Verde ate a little chick. Went down to my buddy Forrest and I bought 200 snakes from him, including some absolutely amazing scaleless corn snakes. Forrest is actually throwing this one in because he's a good friend of mine and he's doing me a solid. So regardless, that thing is amazing. But we have so many other cool corn snakes. I'll show you the highlights as we pack, but we have a couple hundred snakes to pack up before we hit the road. Of course, we got our girl Matilda, and Lori, you were so excited. It was very exciting. I know. Never seen Lori cry before for an animal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What do you think, Lori? I'm in love. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Lori's almost crying. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I did a tour with a guy named Ryan dressed up as Deadpool. Take a little bit of a break here and tell you guys that uh, Deadpool showed up. What's up? And I headed over to Ohio to swim in a 58,000 gallon aquarium. It's uh, our predator fish, right? Predator tank, yeah. So what could go wrong swimming in a 58,000 gallon predator pond? Oh. All right, let's go check and see what we can find. Got a chance to go out and hang out with the Dolan twins and introduce them to a bunch of cool animals. Three, two, one. 
Got our first ball python clutch of the year. I am super excited that we are about to pull a clutch of snakes that isn't a children's python. So <laughs> we get our first clutch of ball pythons for the year. We caught our king snake laying eggs. She's laying eggs she right now. Started. She just started laying eggs. I checked her earlier and there was none. Okay. Guys, the first colubra clutch. First colubra clutch of the year. This may not be a real cobra. This is a false water cobra, but we did get a chance to sex some little baby deadly cobras this year. There you go, little buddy. There you go, little buddy. He's striking, that's for sure. Jeez, just a little, there he goes. Now I can actually just get him on the tail just a little bit. There he goes. Looks like it's gonna be a boy. Yep, so you got Two hemipenes there. We're gonna try to put some really fast African cichlids in with Bowser this year because uh, last year uh, didn't work out so well. Sure enough, we came in this morning and unfortunately the Oscar and the catfish were eaten. He had actually eaten them. There was no sign of them at all. I mean, we didn't see him eat them. There was just no fish. They weren't in here. We had another snake get egg bound, but thankfully we were able to save her life. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, you can see, I, bur I burst at the egg. That's what happened. Now I just have to see if I can't get that egg out of here somehow. You can see right here, see? Right there. All right, that's the egg that I wanted to get out right there. Oh, I busted that one too, which is good. Oh, Whoa. did you see that? It just popped out the last two eggs and she's completely void of eggs right now. We had some baby skinks born and oh my God, were they adorable. Oh my God. I mean, I see one little baby. I don't know if there's any more, but oh my oh, gosh. Oh, look here. at that. Oh, they're so amazing. <laughs> look at how feisty that little monkey is. Oh my God, I am just so excited. Wow. Awesome. Good what way a way to start the day. Oh my God, a great way to start the day. When I started this vlog, I never expected this to happen. That's right, we hit a thousand vlogs. So what does the future have to hold? You know, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. I know that I'm gonna do everything I can possibly do to continue to live my dreams and inspire you guys to hopefully follow your dreams. If there's nothing else that you've taken away from the last thousand vlogs and hopefully the next thousand vlogs is to follow your passion and don't let anyone ever tell you you can't. Again, guys, I don't know what the future holds, but I know one thing, the next thousand vlogs are gonna be absolutely epic. I unboxed Alan Peggy, my giant toads. Oh, doggy, these things are crazy cool. Oh my God, you guys are gonna trip out when you see these. Look at this thing, holy cow. Hatched out the first geckos of the year and they are so cute. Jessica, what happened? <laughs> Oh my Boy, gosh. We had a little gecko explosion, it looks like. <laughs> oh my gosh, these things literally, just in the last 24 hours, all of these yeah. geckos started hatching. Had a really good year with baby garter snakes, which are of course born live, and we had some big litters. Look at this, a bunch of baby garter snakes. Handle chicken strip, and uh, yeah, it bit me pretty good. It's crazy in the beginning, and then calm straight down, so hopefully I won't get bit. We'll see what we got going on. So as you can see, chicken strip uh, is a little bit crazy and uh, I will say it did take a little nip at me. Went swimming with RJ, my pet alligator. And I gotta be honest with you guys, it is one of the coolest experiences in the world. Again, it's one thing when he's out and you're kind of handling him, but I love getting in his pond and being kind of in his territory, right? Got to feed a cute little baby kangaroo. Uh, is it the most adorable thing in the world? I tell you what, and of course, these little guys will spend, you know, sometimes up to a year in a pouch, but uh, usually about six to eight months, they'll start to come out and venture around. So Skippy's at that age where it'll come out, jump around, then go back in the pouch. It's absolutely adorable. Saw a giant anaconda and yeah, it, uh, it attacked. Guys, I tell you what, being in with an anaconda this size is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely the largest body anaconda that I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, Nova and Lilith had eggs. Why are we standing in front of Nova's cage? Because that's right, Nova looks like he's gonna be a daddy. Good job, mama, you did good up there. <laughs> All right, so, so what a way to start the day. We have five eggs. Finally, baby Klubert started hatching. I did notice when I was looking through this morning, you see right up here, 
What do you see? That's right, that's some more baby colubrid. Something I thought never would happen, Perdita bit me. Okay guys, so I'm in a little bit of a precarious position here, believe it or not, of all creatures, Perdita got me. Ah, come on girl, let go, come on girl. It's okay baby, I'm not food. Got to unbox 25 beautiful piebald ball pythons. So here, let's get this back, 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 back. Gosh, tell you what, look at what we have here, everybody. <laughs> That's right, a handful of absolute beauty. Everyone's favorite season, egg cutting season. But we'll jump into these next. We still have a handful of eggs left to go. Ooh, and right off the rip, this one is looking beautiful. Woo Went to Utah and got to swim in a 28,000 gallon tank with stingrays and a mermaid. Having an absolutely amazing time. And you know, it's not only amazing to swim with rays and sharks and all this stuff, but to swim with a mermaid. Oh Hello. my gosh. How long have you been a mermaid? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Went to Moab, rattlesnake hunting. Beautiful agama down there. It's the biggest lizard we've seen all day. Haven't really seen a whole lot of variety. Really wanted to see collared lizards, but this is a beauty, so I'm gonna do the best I can do to go ahead and sneak up on it. Catch a lot of worlds first this year, including the Super Lori Leopard. Let's go, number two, come on man. I'm, I tell you what, I'm so nervous. I wanna get a Super Lori Leopard so badly. Ooh, we got a super, we got a super lorry. The problem is I don't know what a super lorry leopard is gonna look like. We hatched a couple really cool purple snakes. Uh, weirdly enough, they're not so purple anymore. What do we have? Ooh. Oh, doggy! guess what? All right, so we didn't get the camo, but we did get the super chocolate banana. Whereas uh, handling the largest spider in the world wasn't enough, I decided to put it on my face. I am really happy. You're a madman, but I love it. That is amazing, dude. Oh my gosh, guys. I offered $50,000 for a 30 foot snake and uh, still no one is accepting my offer. But I'm here to tell you, guess what? That's right, me, Brian Barczak, right here is saying, if you can bring me a 30 foot snake plus, I will give you $50,000. I fed my giant snake, Ivy, for the very first time. Just gotta get her to go. Oh, she's gonna have such a strong, long strike range. Come on, girl, don't miss, do not miss. Ah, there she goes. Woo! I tell you what, oh. I knew she had a long strike range and I've never fed this girl, so I didn't know what her reactions were gonna be. She came out just like an anaconda, crushed it. Certainly one of the most emotional days for me this year was my mom, after 30 years of never seeing any of my places, actually came to visit the Reptarium for the very first time. Thank you so here. much. I'm Aww. just totally amazed. We celebrated our one year anniversary at the Reptarium. took Ivy and we jumped in Bowser's tank and we went for a swim. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump in there and have some fun. They just basically disappear into the water and you can see with that head and the way the nostrils are, it's meant for them to be the majority of their body underwater and just have that little bit of their head and nostrils sticking up so they can breathe and they can do their hunting. One of the crazier things this year, we had a Kenyan sandbar that had a baby stuck in her. Look at that, that is absolutely crazy. I'm just gonna gently pull this out Ah, oh, and hopefully get this all, ah, oh, there it is. I got it out. Last chance to produce my Barney ball, the all purple ball python, and I missed. I almost got it with the pastel camo banana, but it wasn't quite the animal I thought it was gonna be. This is the last egg, you guys. Oh my gosh. Please, 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 please. What do we got, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Definitely a banana. Definitely a banana. Super excited we got my boy Al Machino. This parking lot is usually empty, but uh, because the game is on, it's, uh, it's, it's busy today, so it's gonna be a little weird pulling out a big snake in a parking lot. Hopefully people won't think we're absolutely crazy. Gosh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, dude. What happened to my puppy dog tame alligator, RJ? He got cranky on me. He is not happy. Man, this is gonna be tough, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is not the, the RJ I know. I built Salt and Pepper a new exhibit. Let's hope we don't crack this sucker. Woohoo, 
and doggy, I tell you what, we had a little experiment with Bowser biting a hand. It was pretty intense. All right, guys, so back to the moment of truth. This is what all our hard work has come up to. Will Bowser actually bite a finger off? We're about to find out. Okay, the moment of truth. Oh! Jeez! Did you see that? Oh my gosh! I caught the last ball python clutches of the year. We actually have the last clutch of ball pythons to cut right now, so I am gonna go inside and uh, just go cut some eggs. And here we are with the last clutch of eggs for the year. Okay, what do we have here? It looks like we just have a little... What the heck is this? Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Kelsey. Um, I hate to say this, but Kelsey is moving on. Uh, you know, there's a lot, and I understand. I don't need to know the whole details other than the fact that, you know, she's ready for the next step in her life. And I just wanted to say thank you so much. Uh, and, and like we've said off camera, you're always part of the family. You're always gonna be here. And um, I'll miss our ball python pulling clutches. Uh, with like, Kelsey, what do you got? Uh, so maybe you'll have to come back next year just for pull a couple clutches, all right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it just is. After two years of failing with Lucy, Ivy finally ate a pig for Thanksgiving. Let's just go ahead and jump in and hope it works out. Oh, yeah! Woo! She definitely grabbed that pig! And there it is, guys! She is done! Right here, someone got engaged at the Reptarium. It was awesome, and I almost blew it. He's gonna actually propose to her here at the Reptarium. I'm not telling you anything anymore. Wait, you why? ruined everything. I didn't ruin it. You talk too much. You no. need to just shut up. Don't say anything Listen, about anything. I didn't, okay. So I, I might have said something. Yeah, you did. <laughs> like I mentioned before, we got cute little new baby gators. Jay, you're gonna freak out, dude. dude I'm so oh excited. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. Look oh, at no! Oh my god. Of course we started the renovation on the Reptarium expansion. Let's get over there and get started. This place is about to look a lot different. Again, ceilings coming down, walls are gonna come down. Uh, it's gonna be a mess, but uh, by the end of the day, things are gonna start looking a little bit more like we want to. Headed to Kevin over at Nerd's Place to see the rarest white cobra in the world. And while we're at it, we met Perdita's mom. I am so excited to meet this animal. And uh, I mean, it's gonna be one of the coolest things I've ever done. And she bit the wall, and then she oh did this thing gosh. where she comes forward and goes snap, 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 snap. This is uh, the snake of my dream. That animal has turned into like Satan. When a king hits you, it pumps you with so much volume of venom, that's what makes it deadly. And they say like a king cobra bite could kill an elephant. She's like literally She's like psycho. Want, want you, want to kill you, that kind of. And by the way guys, uh, a little tidbit here. This is actually Perdita's mom. How awesome is that? I love building these habitats for the Reptarium. And guess what? We got to do it all over again for the Reptarium expansion. Yeah, this thing looks awesome. George. And then he's on to the next one. Look at this one. I want to make that into a shower. 2019 was an absolutely incredible year, but I know 2020 is going to be insane crazy. We all wish you a happy, <laughs> happy New, New year. year. If you guys like this video, here's last year's year in review. Here's a 2019 playlist for you to roll through the whole 365 days. Over here, please hit that subscribe button. Turn the post notification on. Have a happy New Year and a wonderful year. Thank you for your support. Be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.